Okay, we want to build on what we know about triple integrals now to uh, branch out a little bit from just calculating volume to evaluating triple integrals just in general. Now, what we've used triple integrals for up until this point was we, we would have an integral like this, and we would integrate over some solid um, region, and we would have uh, a volume. So we would add up a a, the volume of a bunch of little rectangular uh, prism-looking things. And when we did this, you know, it would look something like this. We would have uh, dz, dx, dy, something like that. Now, when we do that, what that does is it gives us a volume, and we can calculate volume under a surface. But not always can we have the volume interpretation. What an integral does is it, when, when we have a triple integral or any integral, what it does is it adds up a bunch of things. And we can't always interpret that uh, evaluating an integral as finding area or volume. For example, in this case, what we want to do is, now notice this, we want to evaluate an integral of 5x minus 3y. Now, in the integrals that we worked with before with triple integrals, we've had the function in here has just been 1. You know, we had f of x, y, z, but that was just equal to 1. Now we have f of x, y, z equals 5x minus 3y. So what we're get what we're going to get is not volume. So here, here's what happens. Let, let's go ahead and see about setting this integral up. Now, first of all, what it says is we've got 5x minus 3y. And what we want to do is we now have to figure out, okay, I'm going to evaluate this integral, but what are my bounds of integration? In other words, I want to say, okay, I'm integrating over this solid thing in space. And I got to figure out what my, my what my bounds of integration are. Now, this this particular problem has us integrating, and and if you read it, you know it says x equals zero, y equals zero, z equals zero. So we're we're having a boundary in the first octant there. In other words, there's not going to be any negative x's, ne no negative y's, and no negative z's. So we're talking about the first octant. So we're talking about the uh, region bounded in that first octant under this plane. Okay, so we've got a plane here. x plus y plus z equals 1. Okay, now, so first of all, what we do is we calculate, or, or to get our bounds of integration, we want to, and we don't have to start with z, but in this case, it's going to be the easiest, or uh, the easiest approach. Okay, now I'm going to integrate with respect to z. So z is going to start here on the xy plane, and it's going to go up to the plane, okay, <laughs> to, to x plus y plus z equals 1. So I want to solve for z. z is equal to 1 minus x minus y. So we're going to integrate from z equals 0 to z equals 1 minus x minus y. Okay, that's what we do. Now we're finished talking about z. Now we look down. We just say, okay, well, now z is 0. And if z is 0, then we have x plus y equals 1, and we're dealing with this thing right here, this one. We're just looking on the xy axis at that region, and you can see that y, if we solve for y, y goes from 0 up to 1 minus x. So no matter how we fix x, y goes from 0 to 1 minus x. So now we can say... We can talk about y. It goes from 0 to 1 minus x. Okay? Now we're finished talking about y, and we say, well, what does x do? Well, you can see here that x goes from 0 to 1. So now we're ready to, uh, now we're ready to put the x value, 0 to 1. And I integrate... I'm going z first, then y, then x. Okay, now once we get to this point, then we just go through here and integrate. But this is how you set up the integral. Now, evaluating the integral, sometimes a little bit of a challenge. This one might not be as difficult as some. But here we go. Let's, let's see if we can uh, 
and see if we can make some headway here. We've got 0, 1 minus x. So, okay, now I'm going to integrate first of all with respect to z. So here I go. I've got z times 5x minus 3y, and I'm going from 0 to 1 minus x minus y. So that's where we stand right now. And now I, I go back and now I, I can plug that, plug the numbers in. And let's see what we get. Okay. So I, I have 1 minus x minus y times 5x minus 3y. 3y dx. Okay, now we're ready to integrate again. Now this time I'm integrating the with respect to y. So here we go. So I have the integral from 0 to 1. And actually before I integrate with respect to y, I want to see if I maybe need to clean this up a little bit or make it where I can integrate more easily. I think what I'll do, I'll distribute through. I'll say, okay, here's 5x times 1 minus x minus y minus 3y 1 minus x minus y. So I'm just getting ready to integrate. So I distributed the, uh, the 1 minus x minus y through. Now let's see, see what I need to do further to make it uh, easy on myself. 0 to 1 minus x. Okay. I think I'll distribute through and I get 5x minus 5x squared minus 5xy. Okay. That's what I got so far. Now I will subtract 3y plus 3xy plus 3y squared. So maybe this will get, maybe we'll get a lot of algebra going on here. Um, really, now the what I see that I can do is uh, combine these uh, 5xy, the 5xy, negative 5xy, and the positive 5xy. So we have 0 to 1, 0 to 1 minus x. Let's see what I get now. I get 5x minus 5x squared minus 2xy minus 3y plus 3y squared. Okay, so there's what we have so far. And at this point, I guess I'm ready to go, um, ready to integrate. So here's what we've got. We've got 0 to 1. Now, uh, this 5x, that's going to be 5xy, because remember we're integrating with respect to y, minus 5x squared y, minus xy squared for this one, and then minus 3 halves y squared, and then plus y cubed. And that is y is going from 0 to 1 minus x. Okay, now let's see, see what we can do further. We've got 0 to 1, and now uh, I'm going to put every place I have a y, I'm going to put a 1 minus x. So I've got 5x times 1 minus x. minus 5x squared times 1 minus x, minus x times 1 minus x squared, minus 3 halves, 1 minus x squared, plus 1 minus x cubed. Okay, now this is, what, this is what we have now uh, to try to integrate. 
Now, there's different approaches you could take with this. I think what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to multiply out everything, add like terms, and uh, go from there. So, uh, in other words, I'm not going to be too fancy with this. I'm just going to kind of multiply it out and see where it gets me. So this first one is going to be 5x minus 5x squared. And then I have minus 5x squared plus 5x cubed. Okay, so that's me distributing through there. Now, minus x times 1 minus 2x plus x squared. Just kind of multiply that out. Minus 3 halves, same thing. 1 minus 2x plus x cubed, I mean x squared. And then finally right here, I'm going to get 1 minus 3x plus 3x squared minus x cubed. Okay, I'll continue on. So, so here's what we've got. We've got 0 to 1, 5x minus 10x squared. Okay, got that and that and that. Plus 5x cubed minus x plus 2x squared minus x cubed. Okay, got that. And now let's see what we got. We've got minus 3 halves plus 3x minus 3 halves x squared. Okay, so there's I distribute it through there. Okay. And now finally, 1 minus 3x plus 3x squared minus x cubed dx. Okay, now I'm going to add a further before I start trying to integrate. Now let's just look at the x's. I've got five x's here. This makes four x's. And then this makes seven x's. Takes us back down to four x. So it looks like I've got four x. Okay. So I've taken care of all the x's. Now let's look at the x squared. So I've got negative 10 negative 8, and negative 5. So it looks like I've got negative 5x squared. And then I've got uh, minus 3 halves x squared. So maybe that's uh, 13 halves x squared negative. Now we can look at the x cubed. I've got 5x cubed plus 4x cubed and minus an x cubed, so that's uh, 3x cubed. So I've got, so I think I have all of those. And then I guess the only thing left, well, I've got this negative 3 halves and this 1. So that's going to be uh, plus, oh well, minus one half. Negative three halves and two halves. So I think we've got it there. I think we're ready to integrate with respect to x. Okay, so let's, let's see if we can get through this without any mistakes. Um, after all that, maybe we didn't make any mistakes. So this is going to be two uh, x squared. minus 13 over 6 x cubed. It's that one. So we got these two. Plus 3 over 4 x to the fourth minus 1 half x. And we're going from 0 to 1. So really what we're doing is we're adding 2 minus 13 over 6 plus 3 over 4 minus 1 half. 
believe that's that's what we got. Okay. Okay. Now let's see. Looks like the common denominator there is going to be twelve. So let's see here. Two. That's going to be um, twenty-four uh, over twelve. Now I don't need to write it over twelve. I'll just. Okay. So this one's going to be twenty-four minus twenty-six. Is a multiply the top and the bottom of this one by two. Multiply the top and the bottom of this one by three. Multiply the top and the bottom of this one by six. And this is all over 12. Okay, so let's see what we've got now. This is going to be uh, negative two plus four. Well, plus three, right? Over 12. And that's 1 over 12. So it looks like after all that work, we get 1 12th.